Welcome to the Springdale Chamber's 56th Annual Teacher Appreciation Event, presented by Sam's Furniture. Thanks to the generosity of Springdale's business community, get ready as thousands of dollars in gifts and prizes will be given away as the Chamber shows its support for our schools. This year's event is again presented by Sam's Furniture, Arkansas's largest furniture destination. Platinum sponsors include Harps Food Stores, McLarty Daniel, Ozarks Electric, and Ozarks Go. This year's gift sponsors include APAC, a CRH company, Northwest Medical Center Springdale, and PAM Transport. Gold sponsors include Highland Dairy, McDonald's, Office Depot, Ozarks Coca-Cola and Dr. Pepper Bottling Company, and the Springdale Public Schools Communications Department. And now, it's time to celebrate the start of the new school year with the Springdale Chamber's 56th Annual Teacher Appreciation Event, presented by Sam's Furniture. I was gonna ask if you were ready to have a good time, but it's pretty obvious that you're here and ready to have a good time. Bunch of talking teachers, there's nothing worse in the world. I mean, y'all were like getting with it. <sighs> Welcome. Sorry we're a few minutes late. We were letting the folks uh, that, uh, across town, you know, we're doing something a little different this year and we don't mind trying something different, but uh, last year, of course, you went back to your individual schools after the COVID year and we thought, you know, it's just better when people are in the room with more people. So while we're doing this, I want to welcome the uh, teachers that are at the School of Innovation right now, watching on the screen uh, instead of at their own school. So we hope everything is going technically for you folks uh, back there. And uh, at the end of the day, we are going to end up giving away more than $130,000 in gifts and prizes. We hope you enjoyed the... Uh, the vendor fair, you know, that's the first time we did it in one big place with everybody at one time last year, and we loved it. Uh, there were 90 businesses uh, that had vendor tables in there, uh, and, uh, you know, the energy in there was just like the energy was in here. We know you enjoy it. Thank you for, uh, thank you for coming and being here on time and, and staying and visiting with those businesses because I promise you they care about you. So, before we go any further... Uh, I want to say, some, I, I know it was on our video, but let's, let's, I want to highlight our sponsors. Of course, if you can read, <laughs> Joe, calm down over there. This is the Sam's Furniture event. Uh, Sam's Furniture has presented this event for a number of years, and uh, Joe and Lara give a lot, not just in terms of dollars, but as we'll see later on, they care so much about this community, and they care very much about our school. So thank you, Joe. And we'll hear from Joe and Lara a little bit. <laughs> Harps is one of our platinum sponsors. Kim Eskew, who's chairman and CEO of Harps, is here today to, to visit with you. Harps has been a sponsor of this event for a long time. And of course, as you know, they support the schools. We'll talk a little bit about that, about the dollar figures and what all they do. But Harps is one of our platinum, as is McLarty Daniel Automotive. Uh, we have... We have a surprise for you from McLarty Daniel. They, uh, they surprised us last year with what they wanted to give away, and uh, let me just say it's even better. So, Ozarks Electric and Ozarks Go. are our platinum sponsors. Then we have some gift sponsors. We have APAC, a CRH uh, company, will be giving away a large gift. We have Northwest Medical Center Springdale will be giving away a large gift and Pam Transport will be giving away a large gift today. Our gold sponsors, oh, I went too far, Highland Dairy and McDonald's. Anybody not have a, 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 some orange juice and a McDonald's sandwich today? If you did, shame on you. You know, the Matthews have, uh, have supported this event at least for 30 years. Uh, and it, it's, it's no small thing, but they do it because they care and uh, we appreciate them continuing to support this event. 
Office Depot, Ozarks uh, Coca-Cola, Dr. Pe uh, Dr. Pepper Bottling Company, and then the, we mentioned earlier, Trent Jones and his communications team. We couldn't do this without them. See, we want to thank you. You can give all of those folks a round of applause. <laughs> Our silver sponsors, Arvest, Cargill, Core Architects, Cramalot. That used to be JV Manufacturing. They've, changed, they've dropped that. It's now Cramalot. We'll take a quiz later to see if you, how many of you know what they do. Who knows what Cramalot does? Uh, yeah, I don't need a quiz. FPEC, Georges, Mercy Northwest Arkansas, NWAC, Rockline, and Sam's Club. Silver sponsors. And then these bronze sponsors also make this event what it is today. We want to thank them for all that they do. And uh, some of them were here today. And some of them can't be because they're too busy making widgets, to be quite honest. Scroll through all of those for you. How about one more big round of applause for all of our sponsors? I'd like to bring to the microphone now for our invocation, Reverend Don Elmore. Don. Well, here we are again. It's exciting, isn't it? Let's bow for prayer and ask God's blessings on this time, shall we? Our Heavenly Father, we humble our hearts in your presence this morning. Thank you for being here. Uh, realizing how desperately we need you. Uh, from our school board through our superintendent's office all the way down. We need you, and we welcome you to give us wisdom and to give us grace and to help us today adequately celebrate our teachers who pour their lives into our kids. We do not take that for granted. And so we ask your blessings on each one of them, on their families, and on this time together here today. And we're so grateful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. We're fortunate enough to have the leader of our city. You know, he's a Springdale native and uh, he's serving his fourth term. Believe it or not, he was elected way back in 2008. Would you please welcome Mayor Doug Sprouse? Thank you. Pleasure to be at my favorite event of the year. Um, you know, when I was a kid, as much as I looked forward to summer and getting out of school for a couple of months, uh, I always really looked forward to going back. And, uh, and I don't think, and then as a parent, I really look forward to my kids going back. <laughs> and, uh, and even as a mayor, I don't know, there's just something about when school's in session, you feel like everybody's, everybody's pulling the same direction. So it's, a, it's an exciting time for everyone. So... I want to wish you the best uh, on behalf of the city of Springdale. I, and I don't hope I'm not stealing anybody's thunder here, but as I see the men and women of the Springdale Police Department over here and I think about all the partnerships. There you go. Wow, that's great. Well, I'm glad y'all stood up, and I'm glad, glad I gave you a reason to stand up, because I'm probably the only guy up here <laughs> this whole morning that's not going to be giving something away. So um, let me, let me, I, I'm just going to tell you a quick story. Sometimes I tell a story at these events, sometimes I don't. I just want to tell you a quick one, because I, it has to do with learning. Uh, several weeks ago, there were a few of us together, and, I, and I'm telling it because Bill's here, and I'm telling this on Bill. Where'd Bill go? Oh, you're, not gonna are. Are okay. you gonna you're not going to tell that story, are you? I'm going to tell a story. Well, then, no, no. It, I'm going to tell a story. Uh, okay, you're the man. And it's going to be it's going to be awesome. But then, uh, there were a few friends together, and 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 Bill was there, and and Bill just kind of out of the blue. Now I know y'all have a teaching lesson, and when, you're, when you teach with a purpose, Bill just out of the blue said, asked everyone, 
Does anyone here know what a vomitorium is? And, <laughs> and we, the only difference is we were eating uh, <laughs> at the time. So no one of that crowd, now there may, in, a, in a crowd this size, there may be several, and educated folks as you are, you may know what a vomitorium is. But Bill explained what it is, and I kind of filed that away and thought, well, that's neat to know if I, if maybe, maybe that'll come up in Trivial Pursuit or something. And, uh, but Bill, it wasn't like about two weeks later that I was, uh, Rotary Club, I'm a member of the Rotary Club, and Rotary every year ushers for the Rodeo of the Ozarks. And I, I had gotten there early uh, to get my instructions for ushering that night. And Jim Ulmer, who is over the ushers, he gives us instructions before the rodeo starts every time, all the, all the volunteers. So we were standing around there, and he said, now, we were on the west side, and he said, if anyone needs to go to the restroom, you see those little openings there? Well, they go, you direct them to those openings, and then the restrooms are down under the, under the stands. And I said, oh, you mean those vomitoriums? Because <laughs> that's what they are. They're the openings that allow passage in and out of a, a stadium setting. And, uh, and if you want to Google it, it's <laughs> spelled just like it sounds. <laughs> so there was a difference, though, between what Bill did, just kind of throwing it out there, and I actually used it in a sentence and was able to <laughs> point to them and look at them. And I can promise you it was probably what I did. I'm not bragging. I was in a good situation, but it was probably more effective. It probably was. And uh, anyway, but there's, you know, that's how learning is, though. We, we hear things, and, and, but it's really learning when somehow you pull it out of that gray matter when it's time to apply it. And, uh, and, and you all get to see that. I think that's exciting. I mean, you get to, uh, look, I've got, I, I'm not a good golfer at all. I'll just confess to you. Now, I used to be great. Uh, and the older we get, the better we were, the old bumper sticker. But things have happened over years I hardly ever play, and I'm just not very good at all. But I still have clubs. And once, twice, maybe three times a year, I'll still go out, go out and play around the golf. And as frustrating as that is for me, at the end of the day, I can usually recall one, two, maybe three, maybe a, if it's a good day, maybe a handful of shots that keep me from throwing my clubs away, right? It's those, it's those handful of shots that keep me coming back. And I, I was thinking about this the other day, and I know that there are kids that you invest in for the whole year, and inevitably, at some point, not, maybe not with every student, that, but, but you're going to have those nuggets where you see the light bulb come on and you see that change in that student. And, that, and they're starting to get it. They're starting to get it. And I, that's got to be so exciting. And that's why you keep coming back. That's your calling. That's, that's, that's what you're here to do. And that's how you're encouraged. And that's what, that's what fuels your desire to continue to fulfill this calling, this, this very important calling that, you, that you've been given. So I want to just, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for what you do. I want to encourage you. I want you to know that, that the, the people of Springdale, the people who, uh, the patrons who have students, the parents, the grandparents who have students placed under your charge, pray for you and thank you and want to support you any way we possibly can. So in advance, I'm thanking you in advance for the difference you're going to make in the lives of the students in Springdale, Arkansas this year. Thank you. I may not be smart, but I know to give the mayor the last word. I like the golf story better than vomitorium. When you get ready to leave, please pass through that vomitorium right over there. <laughs> Jim.
Joe, y'all come on up here. Could we have a round of applause for the presenting sponsor of this event, Joe and Lara Donaldson. Good morning. Y'all ready for this year? Woo! Yeah. I'm glad I'm not in school anymore. I never liked it back then. This is so much more fun just talking to you like this than being in your classroom. Because um, <laughs> then I got to do work and I got to listen to you. Now I can talk to you and tell you whatever I want. <laughs> Y'all are amazing. Just like the mayor said, you guys are heeding your calling um, to do what you do. It's been 25 years since I was in high school. I graduated in 96. I was just talking to Mrs. Button back here. Everybody know Miss Button? She was, my, she was my theater teacher back in 1995 at Springdale High School, and she's still teaching theater. Amazing. I was actually telling her a story because I was at Storm's Orthodontics right here yesterday for an appointment, and when they were doing some of my check-in stuff, I don't know, they were saying something about what we do in the community. And, blah, blah, blah. and I said, did, did you graduate from Harbor? Yeah, I think there was a pond and some cows right here when I graduated high school, but thank you. It's been 25 years, and I still remember a lot of my teachers and the influence they had on me, and where I'm at right now in life, um, the opportunities I have, the doors that have opened, and what I've been able to do with them, I, I can go back literally, and we talked about a couple of them this morning back there, that have had so much influence on me and perspective in life and disciplines that you, you guys recognize your kids and when they're going through something at home. Um, they, they, come, they leave home and they come to school to learn and get academic education, but they're also coming into a room for seven, eight hours a day, and over the course of a year or several years having the same teacher, you guys learn about them and who they are. And that support is everlasting. And the opportunity you have to pour into their life and their heart um, and influence they are. You know, 25 years later, I can tell you, there's big results in it. So that's why our family does this. We love being a part of this event. It's one of our favorites. It is our favorite. Um, and so we love you guys for what you do. We thank you for what you do because um, you do amazing. And you are molding the next generation. And they need some direction. <laughs> so <laughs> keep doing what you're doing. Oh, thank you. Um, no, I... I am just so amazed by Springdale. I did not personally grow up in Springdale. I grew up in Fayetteville. Hey, Don't judge. Don't judge. All right. Um, but I am constantly amazed by how generous your teachers and administration here at Springdale is. We um, had the opportunity to work with Treehouse Pantry when the tornado and storms came through. and we were seriously shocked. Principals, teachers of all the different schools were like, oh yeah, so-and-so lives here, we need to give them some stuff, so-and-so lives here. They knew, they went door to door with us. They knew where each of their students lives. That is overwhelming. That is only Springdale, y'all. Like, please give yourselves a hand, because that's incredible. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I was just so overwhelmed. And that you have the treehouse pantry here in the first place. Okay, I'm going to go, go off my soapbox. <laughs> Y'all, this, this community is amazing, and we are just so blessed to be able to do this. And like Joe said, you know, we want to recognize and appreciate you for leading the next generation and the next leaders of our community. And honestly, from you know, our family, and I'm sure the community as well, our prayer for you this year is just that you continue to have the strength to courageously and relentlessly pursue your students, just like our fearless leader, our mayor, was saying, like, you're going to recognize those signs from your students. Lean in, and if you can't lean in, you need help leaning in, that's what your community is for. We are here to support you. We love you. We appreciate you. And just like all of you standing and giving that beautiful standing ovation to our officers here, I hope that you feel that your community is doing that for you as well because we just appreciate you so much. So thank you for what you do. I hope you have an incredible year. And 
I'm done. <laughs> I'm not. We got, we you're giving away Hold a on. gift, aren't you? Yeah, we are. Let's see what. But I want a selfie giving. first. Hold on. Uh oh. I want a selfie. Y'all right? I need some. I need some loud clapping, yelling, Cheer. cheering. Y'all ready for a school year? Oh, it's a video. It's a video. Yeah, keep it going. There you go. Thank you. So now, yeah, well, no, don't go away. Don't go away. So now. What are we doing here? That, uh, that applause is going to go down to one happy person. Because somebody's oh, we're giving something away. $500 gift card. Let's see who, what school it is. I don't Monitor get, Elementary. Uh, so Are they here? They're not here. They're, the others. they're over there. Where are, they, are they watching? So everyone here is sad. <laughs> Who's the winner? Kimberly Tidwell. Kimberly Tidwell. Elementary. We'll wait a minute while our, our staff out at School of Innovation is uh, delivering that to uh, Kimberly. Congratulations, Kimberly. And while we do that, I just want to take a minute. You see, hopefully, well, if you've taught in this school district for any time, you know who Rhonda Hughes is. Rhonda, wave at the crowd. Segan's over there. We've got staff here. We've got staff there. I just want to say thank you. Rhonda leads up this event. But uh, she'll tell you, she sure doesn't do it alone. It is a lot of work, but it's, it's easily the, the most fun that we do all year. So thank you, Ron, and to our staff for all that y'all have done to make this possible. Let's see here. Hmm. I have a sheet of instructions uh, because it's time for the very first prize drawing session. We have three prize drawing sessions. We've got more than 300 gifts to give away. So about 100 per. Uh, when your name well, here's how we're going to do it. We're going to show four schools. Two of them are here, two of them at School of Innovation. We'll give away two at a time. So when your name appears and you're a winner, please stand up and just kind of wave because our volunteers, uh, we've got great volunteers here. They've got to find you in the crowd. They're going to bring your gift to you like we always used to do, okay? So that's the first thing. And let's see. Oh, all of our gifts have a thank you address on it, the company that gave it to you, an address just to make it easier for you, if you'd be so kind to drop a note to these, uh, these companies, we ask them to give us gifts of at least $100 in value. And as I mentioned, with over 300 gifts, uh, our community is very generous. So that's, we've given that to you for that. And then um, if you happen to have uh, a large gift, you see there's a 65 inch TV and there's an Arctic cooler. We're not gonna make you sit there in, with that in your lap. So <laughs> we'll bring you an envelope, I believe. And just to, so you'll have proof, and after the, the program is over, come down and we'll let you haul that thing off. We're not bringing the TV to you. So, door prize session number one. You understand the rules? There's the first four. First two winners. From Harbor, AirTech Corp, giving a wireless speaker set to Phyllis Weiss. And out at School of Innovation, C. Crowell Enterprises is giving Jody Boatwright $100. Our next two winners, Baldwin and Shell is going to give Catherine a $100 gift card to Walmart. And out at the other school, Sonora, Pfizer and Company, a certificate toward a tax return. Elliot Bailey, Elliot, I'm pretty sure they're not going to pay your taxes. I think they may help you with taxes. Okay, you're not following rules. When you get called, stand and wave. Let's, everyone while you're sitting, try this. Very good. Okay, here we go. Next set of winners. Central and Sonora. Storms Orthodontics. $500 to Blake Emerson. And Rise, a massage basket to Shallon, Shannon Gallagher. Ferris Insurance is giving Sarah Hawkins a $70 Sam's Club and a $30 Sonic gift card. Springdale Library, a gift box with reading items to Chelsea Coker. Oh, I'm holding. All right. Okay. Where's Springdale High sitting? Okay. Aaron, you just won $100 cash from Allied Plumbing. 
And Max, you just won a pickleball. I so want to play pickleball. I might have bought a set and took my wife and maybe it didn't go exactly right. We're not maybe pickleball players. Where's Harbor sitting? Susan, you just won from Deep Roots Health. And Kyla, you just won a cold laser therapy treatment. I have no idea what that is from Russ Physical Therapy. Okay. Elmdale Elementary in the Perry Building. Megan Frazier, $100 from Myers Eye Care. And Julie Crane is going to win from Cocoon Yoga Lab five yoga lessons. Would you like to see me do a downward dog? Is that what that is? Isn't that a yoga position? No, you don't. Harbor, Tessa Bunch, skate swing and pickleball set. And the Democrat Gazette, $100, seven brew. That's a lot of coffee to Thea Austin. Young and George, you're next up. From Georgia's, $100 cash to Nathan Mitchell. And Cramelot, a Razorback tailgate tent, goes to Robert Johnson. It's that time again, isn't it? Okay. Jonathan Wood from Springdale High, $100 Visa gift card. And Malco, a school field trip. So that's going to be pretty exciting. Hunt and Hart. How'd y'all get down front? You realize that Springdale and Harbor are wondering why y'all are down front. You know that, don't you? They might have been bad mouthing y'all just a little bit earlier. They would admit to it. Winners are Carrie Johnson. Holiday Inn giving you two nights stay with breakfast and big O tires. A set of tires to James. Young Elementary. Monarch's going to give an audio book voucher, and Devin, you just won a one free night stay and a relaxation basket to Home Two Suites. Tyson Middle, George Elementary. Molly, you won from Advanced Family Eye Care. And Tammy Jamison, $100 cash from Myers Eye Care. Harbor High, Alana. Alana, if you don't need that, call me afterwards. I need some sod. And Brenna, you just won from Harps a custom cake design. If you've not, I promise you, I mean, I know you've seen them, but did you bring a cake with you today? I, I, make a note that Kim didn't bring a cake today. Best tasting cakes in town. Springdale School, High School, Bayari Elementary, Addison Payne, you've won from the Arkansas State Teachers Association, a $100 Walmart card, and Budget Blinds, a $150 gift card to Carly Tallman. Tyson Middle School, Storms Orthodontics, $500 gift certificate to Christopher, and Emory Sapp and Sons, a $100 gift card, Rebecca Bramwell, a lot of $100 gift cards. Rollins Elementary and Lakeside. Pineapple Bliss. So I'm guessing you've already found Pineapple Bliss. Yeah, okay. And Jones Center, ultimate family membership to Logan. Archer, Storms Orthodontics, a $500 gift certificate to Patrick McLaughlin. And Flintco, a $100 Amazon gift card to Allison Washkowiak. Wash Did I do that all right? You still okay, Rhonda? You still okay? Harbor High School and Kelly Middle School. The Naturals. All right, you see the date, right? Alicia, that's coming up. Those of you who haven't had a suite, that's pretty cool. And then Walton Arts Center with a gift bag with show tickets to Beth Jones. 
Walker and George. American Tubing, $100 cash. And Hunt Rogers Materials, a $100 Visa gift card to Carissa. T.G. Smith and Westwood. Signature Bank. Oh, my, Apple AirPods. Elizabeth and McKee Foods, a $100 gift card. Harbor and Kelly. Storms Orthodontics, $500 gift certificate to Melissa Davis. And two train tickets from the A&M Railroad to Caitlin. I would save those until the fall. Springdale High, Turnbow Elementary. By the way, how many people in here are teaching? This is your first year in the Springdale. Would you raise your hands? First year in the Springdale School District? Okay. So some of you, I can tell by the color of your hair, have been to this thing before. And you remember we used to draw names out of a bowl. And we randomly assign these. So who doubts me? No, really we do. We don't care who wins. Here we go. All right. Tim Pruitt's giving us a $150 gift card to Patricia. And the Burn Boot Camp one month membership to Emily Porter. I don't know why you want to go somewhere to get burned, but that's okay. Tyson Elementary, Raising Cage to Haley Pruitt. Yummy. And Quadrivium, a $100 logo and stitch card to Michael. Congratulations. Hunt and School of Innovation. A Waco title is giving away a bog bag. And Hot Works. I have no idea what a shaker is, a shaker cup. They tried to explain it to me. I don't want to know. Springdale High, Mullican Agency, giving us a blanket and a locomotion car to Douglas Owensby and all AV, $100 cash to Emily. Shaw and School of Innovation. Ooh, back to back school. You were getting a little felt out, weren't you, School of Innovation? Lisa Academy is giving us supplies and a Walmart gift card to Melissa Henry. Storm Orthodontics, another $500 gift certificate to Chelsea Perry. Harbor High and Jones Elementary. Centennial Bank, a school supply basket to Vander Bowden. And American Tubing, $100 cash to Tiffany Cromwell. Archer and School of Innovation. How many people think School of Innovation is getting too many? Raise your hand. Catering Concepts, they were one of our vendors. $100 for catering. And the Rotary Club's giving us a $100 Hobby Lobby card. Parson Hills, Miller Commercial Flooring is $150 cash. And Deep Roots, a certificate for service to Ashton. Ah, here we go. Harrison Harris Dentistry, an electric toothbrush basket to Dalonda. And Springwoods, a $100 Olive Garden gift certificate to Jennifer Allen. All AV, $100 cash to Dakota. Storms Orthodontics, $500 gift certificate to Kara Eagle. Harbor and Knapp. Lightning Lube, Lindsay Construction, an oil change in golf. It's a little, you don't have to go to the golf course to get your oil changed. And then school supplies from Mercy Northwest. Central, Fast Lube. $100, Flat Branch Home Loans. Certificate for massage. Springdale and George Junior High. Amazium, a basket full of treats to Kathleen Johnson. Multicraft, $100 in cash. Southwest Community Clinic's giving Emily a school basket. And Temple Baptist, $100 Amazon and a Sonic gift card to Christy. Helstron and George. Is that your first one? Yeah, okay. All right. 
Cramalot, tailgate tip to Sherry. Seven brews giving Jan a brew and a sonic. Harbor and monitor. Community clinic school supply gift bag to Robert Day. And American tubing, $100 in cash to Antoinette. Southwest and School of Innovation. Rockline. Oh, an iPad. Woo! And Myers Eye Care, $100 in cash. Are we having a problem delivering that iPad? Because others might raise their hand. Parson Hill, Still Point, Milk and Sugar Company gift basket to Jonathan Ward. And Hot Works, another one of those shaker thingies. Southwest and Perry Building. Springdale Education Association, $100 cash to Deborah Cocker. And If World, okay. $100 gift card to the AMP and or the, and or the Walton Arts Center in Holly Gum. Slow down. Hmm. So I had to get up at 4 a.m. this morning because Trent Jones said, we really, really, really want you to go do a live shot for KNWA at 5 a.m. Okay. I don't normally get up at 4 in the morning. So tonight, I'm going to be watching My Fair Lady at the Walton Arts Center. It's a three and a half hour long show. So we'll see if I see the end of that show. Is that slow enough? Springdale High, Cigna is giving Lindsay a Fitbit. And Community Clinic, a school supply gift bag to Laura. Harbor and Westwood. I don't remember Westwood winning yet, have you? Is this, you won already? Oh, that's the other room. No wonder I haven't heard that. Harbor. The trainer's table. Oh. Way up there. Abigail. And Standard Materials Group, a $100 Amazon gift card. Springdale High and Knapp Elementary. Deep Roots Health. Amanda's a winner. Piney Ridge Treatment Center, $100 Amazon car to Jocelyn. Springdale and Sonora. Myers Eye Care, $100 in cash to Coraline. Baldwin Shell, $100 Walmart gift card to Carlisle. How many of you will save your $100 gift cards and spend them on others at Christmas? Raise your hand. <laughs> no one raised their hand. Tyson Middle. Weikert Realtors. And Sassafras Springs, a wine tasting certificate for Lindsay Williams. Ooh. Did you know that Sassafras Springs is in the city of Springdale? Yeah. What are you doing back there? Parson Hills, School of Innovation. Harps, custom cake. And Locomotion, eight attraction passes to Chana. Pacific Shore Stone, a wine, marble wine chiller to Katie Struming. And Diana wins a basket with gift cards from Soar. All right. See that little dot up there? That means this is the last of the first round, okay? Walker and George. Quadrivium, $100 gift card to Joe Huggins. Arkansas Physical Health and Rehab to Sally Newton. Rollins and Lakeside. The Eye Center. Oh, sunglasses to Jennifer. Right down front. And AirTech. A mixing bowl set and silverware from Robert Lindley. We got two more of those, okay? Two more of those. Hmm. I mentioned our platinum sponsors a little earlier. Back again this year is McLarty Daniel Automotive, Marty Kellum. 
Tim coming, Marty just come, Tim's coming with him, Tim Cheney and Marty Callum. Did you see that Silverado pickup out front when you walked in today? That was theirs. Is it for sale? It's for sale. It's for sale. It's for sale. Tim Cheney will be glad to sell it. Yep. Tim's been coming to these events for 56 years. 50? Oh, he's not that though. Okay. Well, I don't want to give away. T tell them about, tell them about your, you, you are selling cars, right? I can do a selfie. All right. Oh, Joe oh, did. Oh, we do a selfie. Have at it. Have at it. Good morning, Springdale. I promised someone would do a selfie, so. Joe, I really, I didn't steal your idea, I promise. All right, let's go. What an awesome crowd here. Um, McClarty Daniels is excited to once again be a partner with Springdale School Systems. Best, best school system in, in the entire state of Arkansas. Absolutely. Uh, better than that. Uh, Better than those other towns, Laura. Where's she at? She didn't hear me. So. Sorry, Russ Daniel couldn't be here today, but we did decide to do something. We decided to double the uh, double the prize and double the winners this year. So. Um, now wait, whoa, 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 whoa. They don't remember what you gave away okay, last year. Okay. What did you give well, away last, last year? year? Two uh, two teachers got twenty five hundred dollars cash. Ooh. So. <clears throat> So, so you're going to give 10 people 1.4 million. Yeah, 1.4 million. No, no, that's not yeah. right. My math's not good. I'm sorry. So four teachers, and my understanding, uh, two of them are at the other school. Yep. And uh, sorry, we can't see their faces and applause, but I'm sure they'll be excited. Will, will we be able to? You ready to do it? All will right. Will we be able to let them come up on stage let's, and get uh, cash? I bet we can. Huh? Let's, let's okay. uh, see who the first uh, two winners are. Springdale High. <laughs> Who's it going to be? And Harp Elementary, okay. Cash. Come on down. Here we go. Don't fall. Just like the price is right. Thank you. Cash. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, over here. Oh. All right. Let's see the next two schools. Okay, here's Hunt. It's okay if you don't want to jump like he did, okay? Who are the winners? Amber Jones and Michael Hancock. Oh, my. Thank you, Marty. How about another round of applause for McClarty Daniel? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Cleveland, you think you can top that? Where are you, Dr. Cleveland? Come on up here. Dr. Cleveland's going to be handing out $2,500 checks to everyone. Oh, it's the legislature's going to be doing that, isn't it? The legislature is going to be doing that. Checks, yeah. I can't hear him. <laughs> Before he comes up, I would be remiss if I didn't say, one, the chamber and our business community values the partnership that we have with the school district, which is why we do this event. 
but on a personal level, uh, you know, Dr. Cleveland and I kind of came into our positions about the same time and uh, developed a strong friendship, and uh, he means a lot to me. We, we talk often, so Dr. Cleveland, thank you for that, but more importantly, thank you for the vision that uh, you have already put your thumbprint on the school district uh, today and going forward, so thank you for allowing us to do this, and uh, share a few words, if you would. Thank you. Isn't this fun? This is so much fun. The problem is Bill made a horrible mistake. Uh, he allowed administrators' names into the basket this time. So Remington, you're going to have to give the money back. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> guess, guess just mistake. I'm just kidding. That's so much fun. You know, when I saw all the sponsors, I think about, I know the people that work for those companies and I pay bills to those companies and I buy furniture at, you know, down at Sam's. And these people really help us and they're not just enjoying you today, but they enjoy you every day because you, you patronize their business. You help them, you go in and that's what a community is. And uh, our school district is the heartbeat of the community. It just is. Those gentlemen to my left, ladies and gentlemen to my left, all these ladies and gentlemen uh, to my right, all of you, man, aren't we blessed? Aren't we blessed? Let's thank the chamber and everyone here, please. I'm going to step away from the podium because you get to have me all day tomorrow. And I'm sure you're looking forward to it. But I've got to tell you, I am. I am so thankful that we get to start this year together. I know we're separated, but we're together. Tomorrow we'll be all together, and I'm going to tell you, it's going to be an unbelievable day, especially the morning. I know the afternoon's going to be a lot of fun, but it's going to be a magical time, and that's just what it is, an absolute magical time. You make that, you set that for us, Bill. Um, as we move forward, the Chamber's going to have a really deep connection with our school. Already does. When I say our school, I mean our district. But the people that make up the chamber are the lifeblood of our community. And we're blessed in Northwest Arkansas to have our business and industry partners. They're here today supporting us. But as we move forward, they're going to be a really great partner even further. So I'll tell you about it tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you. Have fun. And this afternoon, let's have some fun getting back to our specialty meetings and enjoying one another. So welcome back. And thanks again, Bill. Thank you so much. Thank you. I mentioned earlier we have several large gift uh, sponsors, APAC, a CRH company. Those are the folks that pave the roads. Oh, we're already up there. Hey, Gabe, oh, yeah, it's no surprise anymore. MacBook Pro, huh? Let's see who the school is. Oh, Harbor High. Winner is Freddie Hall. Where's Freddie? He's back in the very back row. One of our platinum sponsors is Harps Foods. I mentioned a little earlier they've been they've they've been partnering with this event for many, many years, just as they have partnered with Springdale Schools for many, many years. They understand the connection and we're very fortunate this morning to have uh, the chairman and CEO of that company, one of the nation's top uh, privately held grocery stores that are headquartered in Springdale, Arkansas. How many people in here worked at Harps when you were younger? Raise your hand. Oh, look at that, Kim. Would you please welcome Kim SQ to the mic? Thank you, Bill, and thanks uh, on behalf of all of the HARPS employees to every teacher and every educator and administrator that's here today. Uh, you know, there are a lot of ways you could have chosen to pursue a career, uh, and you chose to educate children, and I can't think of a more important role uh, 
unfortunately, I know it's not compensated like it's the most important role in the world, but it is truly one of the most important jobs that you could possibly have and a great trust uh, for all the parents that send children your way. You know, HARP started in Springdale in 1930 and have been part of this community since that time. We were family owned when we first started. Uh, and then in 2001, we became employee owned. Uh, and that's been a really cool thing for our employees. And as you know, we operate a number of stores in Springdale. And because we do, uh, we employ a lot of the students that come through the Springdale school system. And you know, every community, I don't know exactly what to call it, but they kind of have a culture. Uh, there's, a, there's a feel to each community, and, and we've grown over the years. We have 134 locations now and, and employ almost 7,000 people, and each community is different. But I will tell you, like a lot of folks have shared today, that the Springdale community is truly a special place, and a lot of that comes from uh, the educational system that we have here. And and it's truly a great system. It produces really great graduates that then become employees and even future leaders of our company, the guy that's the president of our company now, a product of the Springdale School System. So thanks so much for your contribution uh, to every business and every organization that's part of this community. Uh, we always like to uh, be supportive of the school systems and one of the things that we do is uh, we provide vouchers or gift cards to each principal's office uh, so that you can use those uh, as the year goes on to purchase your needs uh, from one of our stores. We give those in various amounts, but they total, uh, this year the total is going to be $19,000 that we're going to make available. And I think the chamber are going to have packets for each principal to pick up following this meeting uh, that will have those gift cards in them. And uh, we also uh, kind of adopt a school. Each of our stores adopt schools. And uh, because of that a relationship, you know, we have volunteers that are available. So if, if you need help, um, you know, with tutoring, uh, reading, just anything you may have a special request, uh, let your principal know and they'll reach out to our store and we'll provide uh, a volunteer to help in any way that you need us to. Uh, each year, and I think these names are going to scroll uh, on the board behind me, we used to have to read these out, but we really value uh, tenure. Uh, and each year we like to give uh, each person that's employed in the Springdale School District a $25 gift card uh, and those gift cards will also be in that packet uh, that we will give to the principals at the end of this meeting. And uh, you can pick those up or they'll distribute them to uh, the people who are so deserving for devoting uh, 25 or more years to the Springdale uh, school system. What a great uh, what a great thing it is to stick with a job that long uh, in, a, in a world where changing jobs uh, every few years has become the norm. So for all the teachers, thank you. For those who have been here 25 years or more, we're so grateful for you. Want to roll through these? How old are you, Eichenberger? <laughs> and I think we have... And Allison takes the cake at 38 years. Guys, uh, I just got a text from... Uh, uh, from School of Innovation, they said that they understand everybody pretty well except for me. Can we go uh, just kill this mic and we'll go to this one and I'll just use this? Let's see if it works. Hello. Okay. Hopefully that'll work better. All right. Hmm. Let's see. Where am I? Ah. Let's take a look at the next prize. 
a Dell laptop. That's brought to us by Northwest Medical Center. And the winner, the school, winning school is NAP. All right. No one here is happy because it's they know it's not here. <laughs> Who's the winning teacher? Jennifer, congratulations. Can you bring me a, can you, is there a stick back there I can use to move around with? Let's see here. Ah, time for another door prize. Here we go. You can see our volunteer. Don't we have great volunteers? And thank you if you did, y'all did much better in standing up. So, second round. Can you hear me? Here we go. Harbor School of Innovation. Winners are. Quadrivium, $100 logo and stitch card. Franklin Brewer, CBI team, two hours of handy. I could use that, Courtney. All right. Tyson Middle and George Junior High. Bailey and Oliver Law Firm. Oh, Wright's Barbecue. Buttered Biscuit to Gene Hill. And Baldwin and Schill, a $100 Walmart gift card. Have you been in the new Walmart uh, Super, uh, the, not the new Walmart, the, the remodeled Walmart Supercenter on Pleasant? Beautiful. Uh, the mayor and I, we were out there the day we cut the ribbon. Uh, if you've not been in there, be sure and do that. Young Elementary and Monitor Elementary. Okay. Multicraft, $100 cash to Andrea Huffmaster. And today's bank is giving a Walmart and an MJ's Pizzeria card to Catherine Campbell. Central and School of Innovation. Sam's Club. A decor basket and rolling cart to Allison Bailey. Advanced Family Eye Care to Angelique. Harbor and School of Innovation. Hmm. School of, at the other place, there are bad mouth and school of innovation at this point. American tubing, $100 cash to Tiffany Hamilton. And another bag of rights and buttered biscuit cards from Bailey and Oliver Law to Kaylee. Elmdale and Kelly. T Mobile. Ooh, wireless sound system. And Heartland Honda, $100, $125 gift chips to Courtney Erickson. Springdale and George. Walmart Health, school supply basket to Joshua Davis. And Star Mechanical Supply, a $100 Visa card to, is it Simbri? I'm going to guess it's Simbri. Springdale High and Sonora, middle. Train tickets to Robert. Where's Robert? Greg, is that you? Where's Robert? Okay. Can you see you in the top, top corner, the really old-looking guy? Robert Tyner. That's not his name. His name is Greg Tyner, and he and I grew up together in Monticello, Arkansas. And my son's name is Greg because... He's such a good guy. So, Greg, I didn't know you were going to win today. But I saw that Robert Tyner. I'm thinking, God, it's got to be Greg. Precision tuned is Seneca. All right. Tyson Elementary and Special Services. Anybody at Tobacco and Drug? School Supplies to Jennifer. And Miller Boskis Lack Architects, $100 Lewis and Clark card. We've got a bicycle from them later to give away to Bradley Martin. Tyson and Sonora. Matthias Properties, Rib Crib and Oil Change to Julie Hughes and Eureka Pizza. A class pizza party. That's going to be cool. Central, Sonora. Cornerstone Wealth, $100 marketplace. And a hundred dollar gift card to Wright's Barbecue. You can eat a lot of barbecue on a hundred dollars. Central Hotworks to Tyler Sutherland. 
And Matthias, we misspelled Matthias on that. Rib crib and oil change to Pamela Locke. Tyson middle and Knapp. U.S. Bank, oh, a wine and dime basket. Huh. And a museum gift bag from Crystal Bridges. They were, they were one of our vendors today. Greg, I'm sorry I didn't get you that wine and dine basket. Russ Physical Therapy. Candy Bailey is a cold la laser therapy. And Pinnacle Claim Services, a $100 Visa gift card to Heather Miller. If you can hear me in School of Innovation, are you standing up and waving and be doing a good job? If you're not, this is the Lord speaking. You need to stand up and yell more. Parson Hills and Bayari. Springdale Runner Club, $100 Sonic card, Elizabeth Osborne. And Ferris Insurance, $100 Sam's Club card, Nathalie. Harbor and Monitor. Temple Baptist, $100 and $25 gift card to John Gore. Cigna with a Fitbit to Megan Leslie. Helstron and Sonora. Hot Works. Dana. And Lander's Toyota. Maintenance basket. Where's Shaw Elementary? Okay. You've just won school supplies, Rachel. From Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield. And monogram it, a North Face duffel bag and cash to Lauren. Young and Lakeside. Milestone Construction, $100 Outback card. And a $100 Walmart card from Springdale Parent Scholarship Fund. $100 cash from Multicraft Contractors to Regina. And Legacy National Mac with $250 Visa gift card. Eric. Central and School of Innovation. Precision Tune. Oh. Woo. And $100 cash goes to Ryan. NWA Plus Size Fashion, $100 gift certificate to Nathan. And Interform, $100 Starbucks card to Wendy. Walker, an early childhood. Locomotion. Passes for Melissa and Hope Cancer Resources, Harps card, $100 for Megan. Hunt and Harp. It doesn't get any more iconic than those two names, does it? The Smile Center, Oral-B Electric Toothbrush to Kelly Reese. And the Amazium with educational treats. I don't know what that means. Tyson Middle and Sonora. Jan Phillips has given us a $100 card to Logo and Stitch to Rebecca. And the Rotary Club, $100 to Olivia. T.G. Smith and Lakeside. Handyman, ooh. Amanda. I'm not sure that will renovate the kitchen, but it'll, it's a start. And 50, oh, you know, it's a good thing Lakeside's there and not here because I might be tempted to, to ask Jennifer if she needed Botox. But I won't. Springdale High and Sonora Middle. $100 cash from BNSF. And another electric toothbrush basket from Harris and Harris Dentistry to Beverly Guy. Harbor and Sonora. Harding University. Oh, well, look at this. I have no idea what they have planned, and I'd like to find out. But that's a lot of breakfast.
It might be two dozen donuts, cut them up really small. I'm not sure. Sonora with Reed and Associates, a $100 target card to Summer Jenny. Helstern and Knapp. Rotary Club, $100 Sonic card to Nathan. And All AV, $100 cash to Catherine. Elmdale and School of Innovation. American Tubing, $100 cash. And Quadrivium, $100 logo and stitch gift card to Sabra. Springdale and Bayari. Two nights, uh, a night stay in a relaxation basket to Godfrey Siamusi. And a $100 Visa card to Cargill, from Cargill to Joseph Bay. Hunt, oh, $100 Visa card to Casey Scott. Sharon Harp's giving us supplies and a gift card to Jordan Harris. Central and Harp. Drury Go is giving us a gift basket and a $100.50 Visa card from Tim Pruitt to Chelsea. American Tubing, $100 cash to Rachel Nichols and $100 cash from Catering Unlimited to Margaret Strange. Parson Hills and Special Services. AirTech, a gift basket to Brittany. $100 Hobby Lobby card to Lisa from Cornerstone Wealth. Tyson Elementary and School of Innovation. Oh, $50 free play to Cherokee Casino and a night stay and a, a family membership to Turpentine Creek. If you've not been to Turpentine Creek, it's worth the trip. Shaw and Kelly. Dentistry, 50 units of Botox to Stacy Dominguez. And Multicraft with $100 in cash. Central Junior High, Eureka Pizza. And Ferris Insurance, gift cards from Outback and Starbucks. Springdale High and Georgia Junior High. Back to school basket from the after school program to Jeremy Price. Jeremy, I don't know if there are any victories in that basket or not, but there might be. And downtown Springdale Alliance, a basket from the businesses in downtown to Valerie. Harbor and George. Oh, $100 Bass Pro card to Megan from Whittle Truck Sales and Pinmac with a gift basket. Tyson Middle and Lakeside. Lisa Rutledge has given us a $100 gift card. Deborah will win it. Orchard Properties, a housing gift basket to Michael Shepard. Catering Unlimited, $100 cash. And AirTech, a Bluetooth fire pit speaker to Alyssa. Helstron and Turnbull. CBI team, two hours of handyman service. Wittenberg, Deloney, and Davidson, $100 Visa card to Lisa Guthrie. Landers Toyota, maintenance basket to Linda Button. And a $100 Visa card from Standard Materials Group to Jennifer. Helstern and George. Duckworth Dentistry, a toothbrush certificate. And Storms, a $500 gift certificate to Melinda Bain. If World, another $100 gift card to the fine arts in the area. And a gift bag to Mary from NWA Tobacco and Drug Free Coalition. Southwest and Hart. Foster, a $100 Office Depot card to Alan Showalter. School Supply Basket to Maria. Once Upon a Time Books, $150 gift card to Lori. And AirTech, an outdoor swing to Thomas Gray. T.G. Smith in Westwood. Did y'all know that Chick-fil-A opened in Springdale? How about two more of those? Page and Robin. <laughs> you 
You still need to know where uh, Sarah is? Oh, Sarah's right there. Are we okay? Hang on. We're good? Do we need to go back? All right, which one do you want me to go back to? That one? There you go. Lori Baird, where are you? You just won a $150 gift card. All right. All right. Archer, Knapp. Bailey and Oliver, Wright's Barbecue, Buttered Biscuit to Nathan Middleton at Archer. And Jennifer, a free stay and free play to Cherokee Casino. Springdale High and School of Innovation. The referees have gone to the hood. Milan, Milan, Jilka, where are you? Harbor High. Up in the middle, straight up, just up that aisle. And Alan Showalter with Southwest Junior High, where are you? See, they want me to go slower, and I'm trying to hurry up so I can get you out here by noon, but if they can't find you, then we have to do that. Springdale High and School of Innovation. Budget blinds. Window coverings to Kristen. Brand Barnes Insurance to shops at Brick City Gift Card to Mia Bortz. Well, the mayor already st stole my thunder. Could we ask the resource uh, officers to come up on stage, please? Y'all just line up right up here. It's the only time you get to, you know, boss them around. It's okay if you want to applaud again while they come out. So, you know, I could say a whole lot, and you all would agree with every word of it. I think these men and women know what we think about them. In this day in the world, they're so special. And I want to I applaud Dr. Cleveland, the school board, for the other additional steps that you're taking. But nothing is more important than the safety of these people and the kids that they take care of. And we appreciate so much what you do every day. We don't understand what it's like to put on the uniform and go out on the street. But this is our way of saying thanks. So we are giving each of uh, these individuals a uh, $50 gift card, I believe. Let's see, uh, Rhonda, what, uh, tell me again who it is. It's uh, uh, Beaver, Water. Beaver Water and Sam's Club. Uh, so you're getting a couple of gift card, $50 gift cards from those and a, a grill set. So our staff's going to give those out. And while we do that, how about one more round of applause? Thank you. 
So we were, we were meeting with the school administration team as we were planning this, and, and they are fortunate enough to get to go to our annual meeting, we call it. It's a, it's a, a big banquet we do, and our 1,200 members go, and we produce a 10-minute video. Uh, well, it's not that long. We, a, a 10 things you don't know video. And they said, you know, our teachers would like to see this. And even though this was shot and edited back in February, we didn't change anything because they're going to, you're going to see there are going to be some, some video in here. You're going to say, boy, they've made a lot of progress in six months. And some other things they haven't made much progress on because you know what? Construction costs are through the roof, and sometimes it takes longer to raise that additional money. But at the end of the day, we want to share with you 10 things you might not know are going on in Springdale. Let's go with it. Introduced in 2021, the Springdale Care Corridor brand will see increased attention in the coming year. The four-mile stretch of West Springdale, from exit 69 to exit 73 of I-49, is home to current or future locations of 12 health care providers, all centrally located within Northwest Arkansas. The three newest additions to the Springdale Care Corridor Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield, the Children's Center for Health and Wellness, and Highlands Oncology will soon be joined by the UAMS Sports Orthopedic Complex and Children's Safety Center of Washington County. 2022 will be busy at NWTI. The school has announced it's received verbal funding commitments for its planned $10.5 million Medical Education Center. The 50,000 square foot training facility will allow the school to expand and centralize its healthcare instruction. The coming year will also see the opening of NWTI's state-of-the-art ammonia refrigeration center. The 19,000 square foot center, one of only three in the United States that are fully accredited, will allow the school to expand training of traditional students and add residual training for local industry. Already, NWTI is addressing the need for truck drivers through its expanded CDL training. Multiple Springdale school buildings, including Central and Southwest Junior Highs, will see major renovations beginning in 2022. Thanks to more than $60 million in state funding, nine of the district's older buildings will be improved. Central and Southwest will each get new main classroom buildings. Once complete, the old classrooms will be demolished, creating a safety buffer from roadways. Springdale High School will soon get a new multi-purpose gymnasium for Bulldog teams. It will be located south of the football stadium and require demolition of the flat roof building. Construction funding was accomplished without a millage increase. A planned $6 million expansion to Northwest Arkansas Community College's Washington County Center in Springdale will allow the college to add needed capacity to its health training curriculum. The new space, located within the Springdale Care Corridor, will allow the college to expand its nursing, health information management, and emergency medical responder and emergency medical technician programs. A major $10 million renovation of a longtime downtown Springdale Park will get started in 2022. The 14-acre Luther George Park located alongside the Razorback Greenway Trail and just one block south of Emma Avenue, will be completely redesigned. In addition to family recreation and play opportunities, the new design will feature at its center an open-air stage for music and performances. The park sits adjacent to a planned 130-unit mixed-use development announced late last year. With the opening of Chick-fil-A within the Crossings development now complete, Attention turns to a planned retail and commercial development just south of the restaurant. Several commercial buildings averaging between 6 and 7,500 square feet are being developed by C.L. George & Sons Limited Partnership, with expected completion in late 2022 or early 2023. The development is expected to be home to several different businesses. The building plans include outdoor spaces with fresh modern architecture and will be a game changer for future projects considering the Springdale Care Corridor. This new commercial development is part of a grander plan for the 500 plus acres called The Crossings, which currently includes the trails at The Crossings Apartments and the Children's Center for Health and Wellness. Another major addition to the Springdale Care Corridor will break ground in April of 2022. Children's Safety Center of Washington County hopes to move into its new facility in the summer or fall of 2023. 
the 8 million 15,000 square foot facility located just south of Arvest Ballpark will triple the space they currently have in downtown Springdale. The nonprofit has helped more than 12,000 children since opening in 1997. Several street projects that were part of the 2018 bond issue will get started this year. Included is the widening of 40th Street from Falcon Road north to the Hunt Family Nature Center, extending Jean George Boulevard south a third of a mile, and extending Emma Avenue west from Gutensan Road to 48th Street. Six street projects have been completed from the 2018 bond program. April should see the completion of the newest downtown Springdale development, the five-story mixed-use Emma Avenue Downtown Project between Spring Street and Commercial Avenue. With 48 apartments and street-level retail, the development will be anchored by a public gathering space called Traveling Public. Developer Blue Crane has also announced plans to build a 130-unit mixed-use development tentatively called Via Emma. Located at the corner of Emma and Park Street, site of the old layman's furniture and hardware, Via Emma will sit just north of the soon-to-be-expanded Luther George Park. Construction is underway or nearly complete for several high-profile projects in Springdale. Just opened is WT Equipment, formerly Williams Tractor, alongside nearly complete Wood Power Sports of NWA. Also near completion is the 87-room Holiday Inn Express just west of Lowe's. Still under construction is the 16-building, 234-unit Pure Springdale Apartment Complex on Jean George Boulevard and Phase 2 of City Hall. Officials expect City Hall to open to the public in late 2022 or early 2023. 10 Things You Should Know About Springdale Well, I hope there was something in there you didn't know, and uh, all we would ask you to do is be our ambassador and say, you know, when you go back and see folks you know, hey, did you know? That? I mean, just share it, because it's amazing what people don't know that's going on in our city. So much is. It's time to give away another big gift. Ah! Pam Transport's giving us a 75-inch Vizio TV. School is Westwood. Huh. Winner is Kimberly Newton. Our next platinum sponsor could not be with us today. Oh, they're Ozarks Electric and Ozarks Go, and they've been a part of this event for years and years and years. It was just one of those scheduling quirks, but I, I did want to share, you know, people probably even if you get your electricity from Ozarks Electric, we tend not to think about our electricity providers very much. And, you know, Ozarks Electric, if you put together all their meters in northwest Arkansas, believe it or not, they would be the sixth largest city in the state. Uh, they are an incredible employer in our region. And not only Ozarks Electric, but Ozarks Go, which provides high-speed uh, gig speed internet. So uh, the one thing they wanted to share is they have rolled this out. If you're an Ozarks Electric customer, you now have access to Ozarks Go if you didn't know that or not. So uh, we want to thank them for all that they do. And really, the, the thing that I think I want to share with you most is every year they give more than $25,000 to high school students to further in grants, to further their trade or their education and scholarships. And it, they also do a, uh, a, a Washington, D.C. youth tour for juniors every year. So if you don't know anything about those programs and would like to know more, call the chamber and we'll connect you with the right person at Ozarks to let you know more. Let's see, what's next? I believe, let's see, can I, can I see the next screen? Ah, that's right, they're giving away a room of vacuum. I knew it was something. What school? Tyson Middle School. Winner is Andrea Barra. Where are they at? All right, I told you earlier that we've got, uh, we had another, oh, door, I'm sorry. We got to do that first. Okay. You know, this is the final session. Let's get right to it. Tyson Elementary and Sonora Elementary. 
from Russ Physical Therapy, laser treatment to Kalinda. Gathered goods in Hog Eye Marathon, a wallet and race registration for the Hog Eye Marathon. Archer and Kelly Middle, Tim Pruitt, giving us $150 Visa gift card to Aaron. And Foster Insulation, $100 Office Depot gift card to David Shue. Rollins and Early Childhood. All AV services, $100 cash. And Shallow Museum, a gift basket to Lori Taylor. Bio Innovation Pharmacol, a healthy gift bag to Melissa Conaway. And Tesla Software, a cricket, is that how you pronounce it? Cricket? To Sarah Penalto. Harbor and Harp. Business and Industry Training, $100 Walmart gift card to Roe Albert. Springdale Rotary Club, $100 Sonic card to Catherine. Shaw and Monitor, Razorback Basket and Game Day tickets from Cirque Physical Therapy down on Emma. And Darling Ingredients, $100 Target card. T.G. Smith, School of Innovation. Standard Materials Group, $100 Amazon card to Vicki White. And Jan Phillips has given us a $100 Uname card. Affordable dentures and implants, teeth whitening and gift card to Dini and Arvis Bank. Two Silver Dollar City tickets to Jennifer Mills. Helstron and George. Heartland Honda, $125. And Matthias Properties with a $50 rib crib and oil change. Shaw and Westwood. Ferris Insurance, $100 Sam's Club card. And $100 Hobby Lobby card from Springdale Rotary Club. Walker and Monitor. Katsky, Realty Group, four outs. Now... I don't know if that means you get four individual one hours or they're going to come and like go down to the studs in a four hour cleaning. And Imperial Coffee. Storms Orthodontics, $500 gift card to Edmund Bacon. And Apple AirPods go to Charlene out at School of Innovation from Kelly. Elmdale and School of Innovation. Springdale Education Association, $100 cold hard cash to Kena, and Storms Orthodontics, $500 gift certificate to Casey. Arissa Help, $100 school based services to Shelley. And Parks and Rec are giving us a membership and a youth registration. If you haven't been in the, in the youth center over uh, next to Southwest Junior High, it's wonderful. It's beautiful. You need to go in there. Elmdale and Lakeside. Physical Health and Rehab, Massage Basket from Joshua. Rocky Steel Insurance, a Razorback bag to Colby. Another $100 Hobby Guard from Rotary Club. And Orthodox, whoa, whoa, that was good. Springdale High School and Georgia Junior High. Tesler has given us a cricket to Tammy. $100 cash to James Tran. Natural Safe Pest Control, a large Arctic cooler. I think we should go put that in Blair's lap and make him hold it now. And Rotary Club, another Hobby Lobby card. So, Blair, be sure you come down afterwards and, and, uh, and get that. And, and I didn't mention it after Kim SQ finished. He referred to it. Principals, when we're done, if you'll come down and see our staff, we'll get you your envelope with uh, your school's uh, uh, gift card. Helstrad and Sonora. First National Bank, teacher basket and Visa card. $100, $150 Visa card from Tim Pruitt. Darling Ingredients, $100 Target card. And Miller Commercial Flooring with $150 in cash. Harbor and Westwood. Oh, 
AT&T Apple HomePod to Jacob Smith. And $100 cash from American Tubing to Deborah. Bassett and Associates, $100 Visa card to Greta. And a Yeti bottle and dinner for two to U.S. Pizza from Metro Appliances and U.S. Pizza. Elmdale and Bayari. Proper pillow and seven brew card from Peak Posture Performance. And a gift card from Collier Insurance to Tara. Helstrom, Burn Boot Camp, one month membership to Diana Taldo. Where's Diana? Springdale High and Turnbow. Standard Materials giving us a $100 card to Melanie Thresher. Where's Melanie? Up oh, there she is. And Hot Works has given us another membership to Jennifer. Helster Middle School, Arkansas Children's, a teacher gift basket. And First Security Bank, supplies and a Unimaze gift certificate. Springdale High and Turnbow. St. Francis has given us a gift card and some goodies to Justin Hart. Hunt and Special Services, Armstrong Bank. Oh, man! Where's Rachel? Are you sure you've got room for a 65-inch TV at your home? Because if you don't have room for it, okay. Okay. Springdale High, Hart, $100 Ruth's Chris gift card to Patrick from Cargill, gift box and food cards from Pruden, Helstern, $100 Visa card from Standard Materials, Circle of Life. Southwest and School of Innovation. Monogram and a North Face backpack and cash to Juliana. $100 cash from American Tubing to Zachariah. Rotary Club, Lobby Lobby card to Harmony. And Friesen Store, a Visa card. Harbor High and Nap. Kind of been a while since we've heard Nap. Where's Nap? Where are they? Oh, they're out there. No wonder we hadn't heard from them. <laughs> Metro Appliance and U.S. Pizza. And Strope giving us a basket and a gift card to Nina. T.G. Smith. Key Point Church has given us a $100 Visa card. And Cigna, a Fitbit. Harbor and Jones. $100 Olive Garden card to Chris from Springwoods. And $100 Amazon card from Elite Realty. Do we see Chris? Where are you, Chris? He's up that way. Cherokee Casino. Hotel stay and $50 free play to Brittany Hickman and a $100 Outback gift card from Milestone Construction. Springdale High, surf, surf, special services. American Tubing, $100 cash to Josefina. And a teacher supply bag. Rotary Club, another $100 Amazon card to Tracy. School of Innovation, Farmland Adventures. That'll be fun. Harbor and Lakeside. Ozark Dumpster Service. $100.
and Razor Edge. An Airbnb weekend at Lake Hamilton, and that would be a lot of fun if you have never been to Lake Hamilton, down in Hot Springs. Standard Materials Group, $100 Lowe's card, Mary, and cash from All AV. Hunt and Lakeside. Ronald McDonald House is giving us a book basket to Kara. And another $100 Lowe's card from Standard Materials. Healthy Harbor Nutrition, gift basket and a gift card to Brett Suter. And Heidi, a school supply basket from Tesla Software. Harbor and Bayari. Crowley Insurance, $100 Visa card to Jeremy Ford. Where's Jeremy? He's behind me. Oh, you're over here? Here he is, over here. Home Helpers and Jet Staff, Midtown Mall gift basket. And Engineering Services, $100 Visa card to Kimberly. Rollins and Kelly, Whataburger gift basket for a year of Whataburger to Melissa. Bill's Fence Company, $100 in cash. Variety Insurance, water bottle, and a $100 Visa card to Matthew. Double Tree Club, a bed and breakfast package to Alicia. Springdale High and Harp, $100 Hobby Lobby card from Surf Pro. Howard Technology Solutions, an Apple Watch to Shannon. Where's Shannon? There she is. I mean, that's what, three or four hundred dollars right there, isn't it? And HealthQuest Insurance, a movie night gift basket. Harbor High and Jones. Chick-fil-A. Ten free meal vouchers to Mary and to Cindy. I have a feeling there's two more sets. There it is, Kimberly and Mina. Tyson and Bayari. You see the dot? This is the last page. Silver Dollar City has given us a pack of four tickets to Therese. Another 10 free meal vouchers to Chick-fil-A. Okay, anybody, who knows what the historic last gift is? Wine. But here at the chamber, we're all about change. Springdale Liquor, wine box to Melissa Patrick and the Meredith Reeves. Could we give all our chamber members who donated all this cash one more big round of applause, please? Thank you. All right, let's see the next slide, Alejandra. I told you we had a, a late gift item, and it's over there. Can we, can we roll it out where they can see it? Hey, Joe, grab that bicycle over there. Roll it out. Over. You can ride it if you want. Lewis and Clark Outfitters. This is a really nice bicycle. No, I didn't say ride it. It's a Kona, and, I, and they told what? Get, what? I'm told that color, I mean, there's, the, you know, they just, bright. it's bright, but it's beautiful. And if you don't want this particular color, whatever, you'll see them because they have a great return policy at Lewis and Clark. James. See, Lewis and Clark is in Springdale. You thought it was a Fayetteville company, didn't you? No, it's not. It's a Springdale company. Let's see what school is going to win this. <laughs> Winner is... Ruth Trainer. <laughs> Ruth, you can come down and get it later.
more to tell me? What have we no, got? The Office Depot. It's next. We, oh. This got inserted. Oh, I know, but I didn't know it was. Oh, there. yeah. No, I, I didn't tell Rhonda we hit, the bike was a late edition. Let's see what's next. Office Depot. All right. Office Depot has been partnering with us for this event for a long time. And, you know, used to, they would, they would furniture and remodel your office and some things like that. And, you know, they realized we kind of gone through the schools and it was just, why don't we just give, you know, two schools $500 and let them do with it what they want to. The two winning schools are Walker and George, junior high. Joe, Lara, I think we got one more big gift from you folks. If y'all want to come out here, and then I'm going to leave it with you for the uh, the grand finale, if you will. I think. Do you know what you're giving? Uh, let's see what. Let's see what. Five hundred dollar gift card. You want to go ahead and give it now, or do you yeah. need to say something? Yeah. No. Five hundred dollar gift card. What school? Ooh. <laughs> Winner is. Alicia, Woo! there she is, first row. Yay. Joe, yeah. Lara, go ahead. The platform is yours. It already was. Did I you know. not see me riding that bike? I can still ride a bike. I know you can. <laughs> I wasn't sure I could do that. I wasn't either. <laughs> OK, we're back. Um, I don't really have anything to say. We said it. We said thank you. We had we said all this stuff and we gave a lot of stuff. So now we want to take two teachers um, that were nominated by you guys, um, by their peers and administrators, as just teachers that maybe went a little above and beyond or went through maybe just some trials or some tribulations through the year um, and someone felt they needed to be blessed with some furniture, uh, $10,000 worth of furniture. So... Lara's going to do the first one. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to read this. You're welcome. So this teacher, as we have said, obviously works hard for her students, just like all of you do. However, she's unique and has shown an incredible level of perseverance through the issues of being born into generational poverty. She was born into a family without much, very little to be exact. Yet today, she has an undergrad in mathematics and a master's in education. She pushes to be the best she can for each and every one of her students. So much so that often she takes time away from her lessons to talk through and walk through difficult personal situations with her students that they may be facing and similar ones that she has faced in the past. She loves giving them the knowledge and tools that can lead them out of their situations. Her students respect and value her tremendously, and she has made such an impact on so many students with her testimony. She's a valuable asset to our school, to other teachers, and to our community. And a teacher like this should, should not have secondhand furniture throughout their home, and we absolutely agree with that. Please join me in honoring another very deserving teacher from Southwest Junior High, Lynette Niz Niznik. Niznik. <laughs> you can come on up.
Actually, go ahead and do that one too. You did so good. No, you did great. So you don't want to do the other one. <laughs> it's reading. It's easy. I get too you are smart. <laughs> I, get way too I was the one that wasn't smart in school. Okay, number two. And y'all laugh at that, really, at your teachers. <laughs> it's okay. This teacher, again, as many other uh, amazing deserving teachers, loves her students, and her students love her. She pours her heart out into them every day. Her and her husband have two kids of their own. And if you'd ask someone with two kids, hey, can you take another four? They're probably going to say no. Um, but they didn't. This teacher took them. Her and her husband are currently fostering four children, two of which are students at the school. Originally, they were not fostering all four, only two, but they didn't want to break up a group of four siblings, so decided they want to take all four of them into their home at one time. So then there was six. During this time, these four precious children have flourished from the love and care they've received. Their needs have constantly been met. This is a teacher that represents the exact things that I've talked about many times before, heeding the call a calling to love and serve our children and students. She cares about our kids. And during this process, she remains positive, continues to serve others, loves big, and continues to smile and laugh through it all. So Springdale, please join us and our family and our business in honoring another teacher from Parson Hills, Miss Mallory Borland. How about another round of applause for uh, Joe and Lara and Sam's Furniture and our Deserving Teacher <laughs> program. Well, we went a little long, but we added about 50 or 60 gifts over last year, and I just hope, to be honest, very selfishly, this was your best two hours of the week. And uh, from the Chamber of Commerce and from the city's business community, we wish you the very best and safest school year you've ever had. Go out there and get them. Thank you so much, Dr. Cleveland. Thank you for letting us do this. Have a great, oh, oh. Don't forget, if you, had a, if you have a, a large gift, come and get that. Principals, come and get your uh, gift card for harps. Have a great year.